Hi guys and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. This one will be a kind of small-ish size but it's still kind of going into the medium size. So this is the Paluma class patrol boat. It's uh, uh, it's quite an interesting ship. It's a bit different. Um, so I'm just going to fly over it and have a kind of give you guys a look in just a second. I'll just give you how big the actual ship is now. So it's 36 blocks long, 24 high and 13 wide. So it really is quite a small one. It's quite a wide boat for its actual size. But it's also a bit different. Um, I pretty much had to fit in the propellers right at the back really, really tinily. So they are pretty small in comparison. But this is going to be a layer by layer tutorial, as most of my ship tutorials are. It's going to be a pretty easy one to build. So I'm probably going to just release this one on a weekday. So you're going to get it on a weekday. I'm pretty sure you are. Obviously, you'll know what day you're getting on because it's just been released to you. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it's pretty easy. Uh, if you do want to use this on a, on your world or on a server, just make sure that you credit me for the design. So just say designed by Lord Dacker and that would help me out if you can. And you have it on a server, then put a link either to this tutorial or to my main YouTube channel. That would help me out, but it's not required. The only thing that I kind of want you guys to do is just to acknowledge that I designed the ship and the rest is kind of yours. You know, have fun with this build. It is a bit different. It's not my most favourite craft ever, you know, the one, not my favourite one that I've ever built, uh, but it is a bit different. So let's get started. So if you guys are building this one underneath the water, what you're going to do is actually have three layers hidden. So you got one, two, three. So it's only the grey layer or light grey or iron block layer that's actually showing on the ship. The reason is because of the propellers themselves. Otherwise you have this massive overhang. Um, there is just like a one block gap in between this middle part. So that's all you need to know about that. Okay, so first layer is really, really easy. All you're going to do is just lay down 27 blocks in a straight line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. And then on the outside of this, 25. So you're just coming in one on each side with this layer. Just like that, so you've got one coming on each, then you're going to leave a five block gap, so one, two, three, four, five, and you're going to mirror exactly the same as you've done on the other side. Okay, so we're now on layer number two, so come to the front of this one, go forwards by one, do another one, this one's just going to outline all the way to the back, just like this, all the way, just to this point here, same with the other side. So I'm just going to build up one of these side pieces, and then you can just mirror it on the other side. Just like this, so bringing this one all the way over to here. And then once you've got those two, what you can do is come in by one here, and then on this one here, this is where your iron block goes. So you're just going to place one iron block coming out. I've just left one on the inside, you don't have to put one here. But I leave it on here so that I know that uh, kind of I can put in an engine room. I didn't actually put in an engine room at all on mine, because it's so small in this gap, it's pretty difficult. So then for the propellers themselves, put two gold blocks then just go diagonally on each of these then do the same just mirror it on the other side okay so we're now on layer number three so we're onto the black layer so come forwards by one block and another one then this one is just going to overhang by one but will come all the way back all the way to here and it goes over by one on this side you're then going to have just two coming across here which goes over that iron block then this one just comes over uh, on top of the last layer straight over like this and it overhangs by one in total. So that's it for that layer, just do exactly the same on the other side and we'll get on to the next part. Okay so we're now on layer number four so we should be out of the water so come to the front again and you're just going to have a one, one and then this one again is going to lay on top and it's just slowly jutting forwards with this just slightly bring this one all the way back just to this point here then you have three blocks coming across the back, so it's going to overhang by one for the inside long stretch. Just like this, and it overhangs again by one. Do the same on the other side. Okay guys, there's just a slight amendment when I was just looking over this one. So I told you to go across the back here, you're actually going to bring this forwards by one. So these three iron blocks are going directly on top of these propellers. Sorry about that, so do it on the other side now. Okay, layer number five, so come forwards by one, and another one. And then this is basically, this layer is just going to trace the outline of the last layer. That might have been easier to say. Um, 
So there we go. So all it is doing is just coming out by one block on each of these edges, just like this. There is one slight difference. We're going to actually connect these two parts together now. So we've got both the bits of the bases they are actually going to connect together. So do the same thing on the other side, and I'll show you what to do. Okay, so once you've done it on both sides, you're going to leave three of these blocks, one, two, three. So this is the front part of the ship here. And then you're just going to bring these back, connecting these two together on this part here. Just like this. It's pretty simple. And then across this back three here, these are just going to join. So this is going to be the kind of long back strip here. And that's what you have, so this kind of tunnel part. So let's get on to the next layer. Okay, so we're on layer number six. So you're just going to come forwards on each of these. Just like this. You've got another one here. And in between this gap, you're just going to do a three like this. So on all of these front parts, you're just coming forwards and outlining. Okay, and then on this one here, you're just coming up by one. This one's going to go straight on top of the last layer. Just like this. Goes on top of this one, and this one. This one then just comes all the way across and joins into the back. So you've got this kind of bit that sticks out here. Uh, it's just where it kind of overhangs a little bit. So I'll do the same on the other side because it's really, really easy. So it's here, you come forwards, you're just outlining, and then this one comes all the way back, straight on top of the last layer, just like this, and just ends in right there. So we'll get onto the next layer. And then to finish off this layer, just come around the back, and just on these parts, you can place down a uh, never break fence on this bit, leave a gap, and then leave a one block gap, then put another one. Same on the other bit there. And then what you can do is you can just fill this in as it is the deck. So you can just fill this entire section in if you like. Uh, there are bits that you won't be able to walk on like near the front. Just fill it all in and I'll get back to you guys for actually building upwards now. Okay, so for the next layer, go to the front here. And this layer here is going to be exactly the same on top. So just bring this one all the way back. Just like this, to this point here. And you'll do the same on the other side. And then once you've done that on both sides, come to the front. Place a block on this one and come forwards. You have another one, one. And then this one here goes across by five. So one, two, three, four, five. So it should just connect in here. And do the same. So you've got two on this bit. So just give you an area of that. So that's just like that. Then behind here, put in a three. And then you're going to add three blocks, one, two, three. Add an extra one here. So you've got a three block gap in this part. It's going to come right to the edge here. And then you're going to go 21, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Bring this across the back. And just join it up again on the front. Just like this. Just like that. And we'll get onto the next part. Okay, so come to the back, you just come in and place two blocks here, then come one forwards. You're just kind of, kind of creating these weird bits that come out of the back, so there's two blocks here, then comes forwards, cross by three, then back by one, and put some fences down, uh, not fences, iron bars in between these parts, and now we'll get onto the next part. Okay, then come back onto the back again, and these parts here, you're going to leave one block, and you're going to have two here. This will be three high in total. Same on the other side, so I'll leave one block. You're going to do like a 2 by 2 square, be 3 high in total. You need to grab some stone slabs, and they're just going to go on the last two. Just like that. And then build up this kind of main section here. Just build it up by one more block. Just like this. Just go all the way around. Just building up exactly the same as the last layer. Uh, just ignore this part at the front. We'll do that in just a second. Okay, then come to the back, and where you've got this big bit here, leave two blocks, and then I'm just going to put down three here. Same on the other side, one, two, three, and then come in by one and do another three. So these are kind of staggered parts. And it'll just connect into uh, the side parts just in a bit, so you've just got those two. And then come onto the front, and where you've got this long run, you're just going to add three blocks here, then two, one, and then this is going to be a seven, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So most of these are just going straight on top of the last layer. Just like that. So you're creating this kind of front part here. And then to place your stairs to get into this like four like forward deck, what you're gonna do is where you've got this part here, you're gonna place a stair and that stair here. Just like this. So you've got a stair there, stair there, and a stair there. Just like that. And then you can fill in this kind of forward deck part. Just like this. And I'll get back to you when you've filled in this part. And then coming onto the front again, you're just gonna build this up again. So where you've got this three, you're just gonna have two. 
two, two, uh, two, two, and one. We have one, so that's going to be a one in the middle, so you've got a two-block gap. The same here. So it's got these twos, and then there's going to be iron fence on the two front parts. And you can just make a railing for these steps here, and just put down two uh, iron bars on each side, just like this. So you've got this kind of bit where you can't fall off, it's supposed to be kind of a safety part. So then we've done that. Okay, then come onto this main section, just build it up again by one. So this part, just on the front part here, and then go one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, like that. Okay, and then when you've got this five on the last block, you're just going to place one block, and you've got a two coming out just over the side, then you're going to come back in again. And this is just going to run its way back just at this point here as it's touching this part there. Same on the other side, so on the last layer of five, we're going to add one block, then you've got two coming out, come back in, bring this one back, just to this point here. And then these side parts, you'll just build this up by one, just on those three blocks there, so it's just on the first bit, and these two sides, only those parts. Then get your iron bars, and what you're going to do is just bring these all the way across the front part anyway. Just like this. If you wanted to, what you could do is you could cut out one of these and put in a stair here. Um, I'll show you like what I mean uh, when the entire build is done because it'll look a lot better. Then what you're going to do is, uh, where you've got these three coming across here, just bring your grey wall across like this. So I've gone wrong on the other side, <laughs> apparently. So how about this, guys? Hopefully you're not following too closely as I've already made a mistake. So there we go. So if we have two block gap here, you got this part. So yeah, on the last bit here, you bring your grey wall across and then just fill in this entire deck and we'll get on to the next part for you. Okay, so once you've filled in the deck there, when you've got this three here, go on to the next kind of long strip, leave two blocks, and then you're going to place down three bits of light grey wall. If you've already used the light grey wall for the main deck, then use something like white wall will do fine. Um, I usually use the white wall on these, but these looked on the uh, Australian ship looked a bit more bit darker so I'll use the light grey. Um, so then just put your never brick fence on here. And you're just going to connect two parts of them into the deck like this. And the same on the other side as well, just like this. Really easy. Grab your iron bars and you're just going to wrap these around all of the bits on the grey. Just like this. It's going to go around like that. So it's a pretty easy part this. And then we're going to build this kind of back canopy part. And then for this, I used light grey wool. Um, if, of course, you've used it, you can use white wool or any sort of colour. This is just for a canopy that kind of um, I've seen on some of the pictures was actually put up on the back. So you just come off this block here and you just go three. Next one's four. One, two, three, four. You got another four like this. Then you've got a stone slab just coming up a bit more. Do the same on the other side. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. And there's not four of those, there's three of these in total. And you've got this coming across here. Then just on this other part, you can bring your whatever type of wall you used just to finish off the back canopy like that. And you're going to build a small boat that's on the back. So you're just going to leave one block gap here, and you're going to just go five uh, long in total. So add two blocks to each of them. And then you've got a one, just like this. So it's a pretty easy one, it's just five and then one, and then whatever type of floor. I think I use quartz slab if you're on the Xbox. Choose another type of slab for this, like cobblestone or something like that, and that'll do fine. Then from this boat, leave a one block gap. And you're just going to go across here, leaving a one block walk around. And then this is going to go back by eight. So count this on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Same on the other side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then you're going to come in and go five, one, two, three, four, and five. This goes straight across. So it's got this five like that. And then come across with your glass on the front part here and across the sides and just leave one block here so you can put in a block here like this and I put in my door just on this section here so you can cut out your doors if you want uh, it's up to you where you kind of put them on the ship and I'll, on this back part what you're going to do is build it up and you're just going to come in by one on the back so you're going to leave this one block have it like that and then if you want you can put in two more windows like this like that and you can also come around the front and add five stone slabs just on the front there. And then on the back again, we're going to come in by one block, so bring this all the way across. Just like this. 
then this one's going to go over by one block, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. This just comes across the front here, like that, so it just comes across the front. And then what you can do is fill in this top deck with your grey wool or whatever you're going to be using for the, uh, for the actual deck itself, and I'll get back to you. And then come to the front of the kind of bridge section itself and come across the front by five. And then what you've got behind it is iron blocks, which are just coming around like this, making this kind of shape here. So you've got five behind those slabs and then one on each side. Then you're going to have a slab on each of these parts. Then you're going to have two iron blocks like this, like this. And grab your iron bars and you can just put them around the outside. Um, I have put a ladder up on mine, so I'll just find out where that is. I think it's grab a ladder. I put my ladder up this part here. I can just chop out this, and you can do it on both sides if you want. So you've just got that, so that you can actually get up onto this top part here. We've got this little viewport, well not viewport, you know, viewing area thing. So let's go on to the next part. Okay, so then on the back part here, I just put in a cobblestone wall, piece of wall, and a quartz slab on top. This is just kind of a sensor. Uh, if you haven't got the cobblestone wall, then use never brick fence or normal fence. And then if you haven't got the slab, use another type of slab, really easy. And then I just dotted around like a couple of these little antennas here just to fill in the back. And all we have to do is build this main antenna and we are done. Okay, for the antenna, just build these bits up by another two and add two blocks onto the front part like this. Join them together and then add another five on the front like this. And then wrap some iron fence, iron bars around it. I keep on saying iron fences. Wrap your iron bars around it. Then get your stone slab, they just go on the top of these parts and on the top part of those two. Then with cobblestone wall, I went up by three, then up by five with never brick fence on top. One, two, three, four, and five. And I came out one on each side here, I just left one on the top here. Went down and went out by three in total, or two in total, two in total, sorry. Just went out by, by two in total. And that finishes off the Paluma class patrol ship. Uh, used by the Australian Navy. Really easy build. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Um, and I'll see you guys on the next big tutorial. Okay, so let's have a look at what I've done on the interior of the Paluma class uh, patrol boat. So the bridge is pretty much like my standard kind of bridges. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't get the chairs in. You could probably move this one. No, you can't move that one back. It's kind of difficult. You could put the, the door in uh, here instead. So you've got that. Just got a couple more chairs. Um, I don't think there's a way down. No, there isn't another way down, is there? So what I did is I put in... On the back side here, I put in this extra little back room if I can get through the doors. And it's absolutely empty at the minute. You might want to put some chests if you do the same thing. I've got my stairs that go down. And this goes into like a another kind of control center, I guess. It's like the CIC, the command and control, like command information center, that kind of thing. Um, which then takes you across to the outside beam as well. So this is the kind of... If I can get back out. <laughs> this is the kind of main bit underneath that we've kind of walked down into. Uh, so in here, wherever I came down from the stairs, which I completely lost it, yes, the CAC was back here. So that goes up to the bridge. Then got um, kind of like a mess. This is my mess hall table. It, I had to cramp it into this part, um, which was quite difficult. And then in here, I've got just a really simple bathroom, which has got a toilet and a sink. There isn't any shower or anything like that. So it's very small. The ceiling is very small. And then here, I've just got the two kind of stairs that go down into these side parts. There's not really too much, just put a few chests. And I've laid out a ridiculous amount of bunk beds. There's no way that this ship would actually have this many people in it, and the other one's exactly the same as well. Um, but it's the only thing I can really figure out what to do with with these sides, to be honest. It was kind of difficult, because um, they're so, you've only got these two blocks, and you've got this top bit here, so it's a pretty, really, really fast tour of the kind of interior of this one. Um, I don't think I've done anything on the back either. Um, another thing you can do is this 
light gray wall, this part here. If you want to, you can actually take all of that off. As it's, a, it's actually a canopy. I can't remember if I said in the tutorial or not. It's actually a canopy, so you can take that off if you wanted to, and you could put in, say, you can move this small boat. You can actually have a couple here with a big crane. Um, I'm sure you guys can figure out a crane from my other tutorials. Mainly I just use this kind of stupidly simple style for like small cranes and these 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 size of ships. Um, so you can always just take that all out, take out these number of fences, and you've got this extra back area. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys later.